Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture. First, let us see the major constraints of project management. Three major dimensions that define the project performance are scope, time, and cost. These parameters are interrelated and interactive. The relationship generally represented as an equilateral triangle. It is evident that any change in any one of dimensions would affect the other. For example, if the scope is enlarged, project would require more time for completion and the cost would also go up. If time is reduced the scope and cost would also be required to be reduced. Similarly any change in cost would be reflected in scope and time. Then, let us see the major classifications of projects. Projects range in size, scope, cost and time from mega international projects costing millions of dollars over many years to small domestic projects with the low budget taking just a few hours to complete. 1. Based on the basis of time projects can be classified into short or long duration. 2. Based on the basis of type of products projects can be classified into project producing goods sugar factory project, services telecommunication projects, knowledge and info research projects. 3. Based on the scope projects can be classified into regional, national or international. 4. Based on the size projects can be classified into large, medium and small scale projects. 5. Based on the type of technology projects can be classified into labor intensive, capital, energy. 6. Based on the nature of ownership projects can be classified into private, public, joint venture, cooperative, NGO. Now, let us see the relationship between strategic plan, portfolios, program and projects. 1. Strategic plan. A project normally originates from a plan, national plan or corporate plan. A strategy plan is the development of long-range plans for the effective management of environmental opportunities and threats, in light of corporate strengths and weaknesses or SWOT. It includes defining the corporate mission, specifying achievable objectives, developing strategies, and setting policy guidelines. 2. Portfolios the portfolio includes all projects and programs in an organization, whether they are related or not. The purpose of the corporate portfolio is to determine what resources should be allocated to distinct projects and programs and whether they contribute to strategy. 3. Program A program includes multiple related projects which together achieve strategic benefits. Programs have broadly expressed development objectives. A program is a collection of associated projects that are managed together to achieve goal. Since programs comprise multiple projects, they are larger in scope than a single project. A program is broader in scope than a project. A program is the domain out of which project can be found. A program has general objective while projects have a specific objectives. 4. Projects while projects are the building blocks of programs and are usually of shorter duration, a project is the means by which national, regional, local, etc. plans are made operational. Projects are the means through which programs are achieved and are considered to be a tangible benefit for the project beneficiaries. Second let us see the difference between project and operation. Organizations perform two types of work project work and operational work. The purpose of project is to attain objectives and terminate. But the objective of operations is to sustain the organization. The lifetime of projects is temporary, but the time of operations is ongoing. Projects produce unique product, service, or results, but the output of operations is non-unique. Projects have dynamic and temporary teams, but operations have functional and permanent teams. The authority of projects is varies by organizational structure, but operations have direct and formal line of authority. Now let us see the meaning of project stakeholders. 
project stakeholders are individuals and or organizations who are actively involved in the project and whose interests are directly affected by the outcome of the project. This is all about this lecture. Our telephone address is 0933884400. Thank you all.